Welcome everyone to part three of Experiment B18. I'm your host, Protegies. Let's just get straight to it. Turn on the speed there. So, since we're at a Cold Corporation, might as well start off with the rocket. So, the construction of the visitor's rocket continues. As you can see, he has more pieces of it built. <clears throat> and he's going to begin to put together the thrusters that go on the side. Also, in these crates is the other, like, thrusters, which is why these are sitting next to them. <clears throat> also, apologies if I keep clearing my throat. I have a sinus infection, and, yeah, it's not good. But since I like, since I love you guys, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put out some videos. So yeah, that's what's in these crates. And as you can see, he set up more of those robotic arms to help build the rocket. And yeah, he also moved the TV so we can get a better shot of the um, him building the rocket, as it used to be over there. Now it's over here. So yeah, that's about it. Also, you can see a he is building a rift beacon. Later on, you will see what this is used for. But as of now, it's being constructed and it's not really doing anything. It's just there. Anyway, moving on, let's go over to the gnomes area. The heist was a success, but now they are planning a prison break. As you all know, canonically, they go on a prison break and break out a uh, very important gnome to them. As you can see, they're talking about it right now. And you can see the iconic trio is right here. Cone Crump. This is the uh, cone gnome before he had the cone. He got that later on. We got the secretary gnome, the, the iconic blue gnome, and then we got the head gnome. All of them. So yeah, they're basically just discussing the prison break. Also, they did unload the gold. It's all in here. Very successful heist, I would say. <clears throat> yeah, that's about... That's basically about it for gnomes. From the heist location, the police have arrived on the scene to investigate it. But the gnomes left zero evidence for them to track. So... They're going to struggle to find them if they do want to find whoever did the heist. Because as of now, they don't know. Also, they're at the prison. The wrecking ball is getting closer to it. And as you can see, they began to unload, like, remove all the furniture and stuff from inside the building, like where they were going to be tearing it up down. Because you can see, put some more furniture and equipment over here. <clears throat> and yeah, they also had to destroy a wall to get to the, to have, like, easier access to the furniture and, like, get it out easier. You might notice that they didn't remove all the furniture, mainly because the section that they're going to be destroying is this middle part. It's going to, it goes from this door to this arch, or destroyed wall, I should say. That's the only part they're going to be tearing down, and then they're going to rebuild it, obviously. They're not just going to leave it torn down. As you can see, the FBI cars slash government cars have made it here. They're going to close off the prison for a while, because this is going to be... The stu what a, what the, the device that they're uncovering is very, uh, uh... What's the word? Very secretive, I guess you could say. Public's not allowed to know about it. Anyway, going on, these trucks are beginning to go to the prison, they're still moving. The uh, excavators, those are going to be the ones who are digging up the device. The the uh, whole wreckage over here from the uh, police, built police tower falling onto the car dealership is almost cleaned up entirely. They are dumping all the trash and stuff inside this truck. 
And uh, they didn't unpack the um, building materials yet because they're still cleaning up the area. Uh, that's about it from over here. Let's see what else. Ah, yes. So the short video I made about the uh, gnome storyline and blowing up the gas station, history repeats itself. Because if we all, if you guys remember, a video I made a while back was the gas station blowing up. That was the gnomes who caused that explosion of the gas station. Because one of the gnomes they, that are in the gas station, they came to interrogate. And as you can see, he is uh, knocked out. He's not dead. He's just, like, knocked out from the explosion because he hit his head really hard on the shelf in there. But I'd say this is definitely an improvement from the original gas station explosion. By the way, this wall is completely custom, for those wondering, because I know there's going to be people who want to know if this wall is custom or not, and yes it is. <clears throat> As you see from the explosion, they launched a couple cart, the two cars there near it, like into the building or away from it. It's a pretty, pretty gnarly explosion. Except I don't know how to do live events, so I just show the aftermath of them. Anyway, nothing really much happened here. They're still doing their own thing. Investigating what they uh, came to. The timeline they're in. And that is about it for the map change. Thank you guys for watching. There will be more to come, obviously. A Kremlin Island map change is expected to be released tomorrow. If I have to delay it, I will delay it one day and no, and no, day, no days more. Like, the absolute deadline for the Kremlin Island map change is Thursday. So expect it to be released before that, but if not, it will be Thursday is when I will release it. Anyway, that is it for the map change. Thank you guys for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Adios.